Today's video is on second order homogeneous recurrence relation. So any equation of the form a n is equal to c1 a n minus 1 plus c2 a n minus 2 where n greater than or equal to 2 is called the second order homogeneous recurrence relation. See here for finding the degree or order. So we have to make a difference between the greatest subscript minus the lowest subscript here the greatest subscript is n and the lowest subscript is n minus 2 so if i make a difference between n minus n minus 2 so this will be n minus n plus 2 so if i cancel plus n and minus n we will be getting degree 2 so here this is the second order homogeneous recurrence relation first of all we have to write the characteristic equation see here it is of uh, second order r square minus if you transform this to other side this will be minus c1 r and this is minus c2 is equal to 0 so if we solve this equation we will be getting the roots as r1 as and r2 so it might be real and distinct real and equal or complex roots there are three cases here after solving this equation so if r1 and r2 are real and distinct so if, if for example 2 comma 3 they are real numbers and different different numbers so the solution framed here is a n is equal to alpha 1 r1 par n plus alpha 2 r2 par n so in case of this example 2 so in place of r1 we have to write 2 and in place of r2 we have to write 3 and if these roots are equal 2 comma 2 then the solution is a n is equal to alpha 1 plus n into alpha 2 into r par n so in place of r so this is an equal root 2 so we have to write 2 in place of r so if they are complex roots see here alpha n is equal to r par n this is See here, alpha 1 cos and theta plus alpha 2 sin and theta. For example, if you frame this as alpha 1 plus alpha 2, then if for getting r value, we have to square this. That is root over 2 square plus 3 square here. And theta value is equal to tan inverse of alpha 2. This is 3 by 2, alpha 2 by alpha 1. So these are all the types of roots, types of solutions. And this is the characteristic equation. And this is how we have to solve the second order homogeneous reference relation. And here is a problem for you for solving and see here solve the recurrence relations a n plus a n minus 1 minus a n minus 2 if you find this is the second order recurrence relation see here in the solution given recurrence relation is see here this is a n plus this is a n minus 1 plus 6 times of a n minus 2 is equal to 0 now if you write the characteristic equation the characteristic equation will be see here the characteristic will equation will be order 2 that is r square plus r minus 6 is equal to 0 now we have to find the factors for this so r square 6 factors are 3 2 is a 6 so this is plus 3 minus 2r minus 6 is equal to 0. So if I take r common this will be r plus 3. So if I take 2 common this will be again r plus 3. Again if I take r plus 3 common. So this is r plus 3. If I take this will be r minus 2 is equal to 0. So r is equal to minus 3 comma plus 2. Therefore the solution is the solution of the recurrence relation is given as the solution of the recurrence relation is so according to the case one so a n is equal to this is a c1 r1 power n plus a c2 this is r2 power n so this will be a n value will be this is c1 minus 3 power n plus a c2 this is 2 power n so here we have initial conditions or uh, the given conditions are a0 is equal to minus 1 and a1 is equal to 8. First of all, a0 is equal to 1. So, when we will get a0 if we put n is equal to 0. So, that is a0 is equal to c1 minus 3 power 0. This is c2 to power 0. That is a0 value is minus 1. So, a0 value is minus 1. So, anything to the power of 0 is 1. So, c1 remains and anything to the power of 0, c2 remains. So, therefore, c1 plus c2 value is minus 1. So, we got the first equation here. And next condition here is a1 is equal to 8. 
so here a1 value is equal to 8 so if i keep the same thing one here in this so a1 value is equal to c1 so in place of uh, n we have to write one here that is minus 3 power n this is 2 power 1 so what is a1 the value here is 8 that is a c1 so this will be minus 3 and this is 2 c2 so we got 3 c1 minus 2 c2 so if i send to other side so this is uh, 3c1 minus uh, 2c2 is equal to this is minus 8. So we got two equations on solving 1 and 2. See here on solving equation 1 and equation 2. See here. So what is equation 1? c1 plus c2 is equal to minus 1. This is 3c1 minus 2c2 is equal to minus 8. So this is equation 1 and this is equation 2. So if I multiply with 3 and subtract, see here this will be 3c1 plus 3c2 is equal to minus 3. So this is 3c1 minus 2c2 is equal to minus 8. So if I subtract then this will cancel and this is 5c2 is equal to this value is 5. So c2 is equal to the value here is 1. So if I substitute the same thing in equation 1. So what is equation 1? c1 plus c2 is equal to minus 1. So this is c1. What is c2 value? So this is again plus 1 is equal to minus 1. c1 is equal to minus 1 minus 1 and c1 value is minus 2. So we got c1 value as minus 2. Therefore the general solution the general solution is as you know a n is equal to this is c1 minus 3 power n this is c2 and this is 2 power n so in place of c1 i have to write that is a1 what is c1 this is minus 2 times of minus 3 power n and this is 1 times of this is 2 power n so this is how we have to solve and this is the general solution so this is also so simple if you understand and there is an, another question here for you and this is nothing but solve the recurrence relation AR minus 7 times of uh, AR minus 1 plus 10 times of R minus 2 is equal to 0 and the initial conditions here are A0 is equal to 0 and A1 is equal to 3. Therefore, the given recurrence relation here is, see here, the given recurrence relation so what is the recurrence relation given that is a r minus 7 times of a r minus 1 10 times of a r minus 2 is equal to 0 now we have to write the characteristic equation the characteristic equation is the characteristic equation is so from this what we have to write so this is of order 2 so this can be written as r square so this is 7r so this is minus 7r plus 10 is equal to 0 so now we have to solve this for 10 the factors here are 5 twos and this is again 7 so this can be written as minus 5r plus 2r plus 10 is equal to 0 so if i take r common this will be r minus 5 see here so this is uh, minus 7 minus 5 minus 2 and if i tweak minus 2 common this will be r minus 5 is equal to 0 so if i take r minus 5 common this will be r minus 2 is equal to 0 so we got the roots as 2 comma 5 and after getting the roots these are real and different therefore the solution is see here the solution a n is equal to so this will be c1 r1 power n this is c2 r2 power n so this is r1 and r2 therefore our solution is this is c1 this is 2 power n this is c2 this is 5 power n so this is the solution so we have initial conditions as a0 is equal to 0 so we have a0 is equal to 0 so for that if i put n is equal to 0 so this will be 2 power 0 plus c2 this is 5 power 0 therefore what is a0 0 is equal to c1 plus c2 this is equation number 1 and the second condition here is a1 is equal to 3 so here 
a1 is equal to 3. So, if I keep n is equal to 1, that is 1 is equal to c1, this is 2 power 1, this is c2, this is 5 power 1. What is a1 value? This is 3. This is 2 c1 plus 5 c2. This is equation number 2 on solving. See here, on solving 1 and 2 equations. On solving 1 and 2 equations. What is the first equation? That is c1 plus c2 is equal to 0. This is 2 c1 plus 5 c2 is equal to 3. Now, if I multiply this equation 1 with 2 and subtract, this will be 2 c1 plus 2 c2 is equal to 0 and this is 2 c1 plus 5 c2 5 c2 is equal to this value is 3 now if i subtract these then see what happens now i can cancel plus and minus and here what remains this is minus 3 c2 is equal to minus 3 and c2 value is equal to minus 3 by minus 3 and c2 is equal to 1 so now i got the value of c2 as 1 so if i substitute in equation 1 that is c1 plus c2 is equal to 0 what is the c2 value from this 1 so this is plus 1 is equal to 0 and therefore c1 value is equal to minus 1 see here we got the value as a c1 as minus 1 and c2 as this one therefore our solution a n is equal to see here this is a c1 2 power n plus a c2 5 power n so our solution a n what is c1 c1 is minus 1 into this is 2 power 1 and c2 value is 1 into 5 power n so 1 into 5 power n therefore the general solution therefore the general solution is a n can be written as 5 power n minus 2 power n and this is how we have to solve this is so simple if you practice and definitely you can solve any problem of this kind and i'll be uploading the solution for the recurrence relation that is a, the third order homogeneous recurrence relation have a look at those and definitely it will be very helpful for your preparation and thank you if you really like you know what to do please subscribe to this channel